Welcome to our Thy Kingdom Come series and uh, to this morning's offering of how you can pray for your five people uh, that you are thinking about between the period of Ascension Day on 21st of uh, May, all right through to Pentecost on the 31st of May. And we encourage you uh, to pray in a different way each day, just to add a bit of variety and excitement to the process of praying uh, for those five people to come to know Jesus and for his Holy Spirit to be poured out on them and you as you go about your daily lives. So let's pray together. Roman Catholics and Methodists, Pentecostals and Anglicans, Baptists and Orthodox, side by side praying for the presence of the Holy Spirit to work in them for others, uniting in this prayer. Come Holy Spirit, let your kingdom come during this time. Will you join us? So today we're going to be praying using a prayer flower. So grab yourself a piece of paper and cut out the design of a flower. Um, it just needs to have five petals. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be any colour, any shape you like, but as long as it's got five distinct petals like this one here. And then I invite you to write the name of each of the five people that you're praying for on each of the petals of your flower. Once you've done that, fold your petals into the centre like so you will end up with something like that. Once you've got your flower and you've folded the petals in, you will need a bowl of water. And you simply place your flower into the bowl of water. And as it floats around the water, you should see the petals beginning to open. And as they do, your petals will offer up the names of those people that you're praying for to God. I'd invite you to leave your flower in the bowl of water somewhere where you're going to see it for the rest of the day as a reminder to you of those people. Thank you for praying for your five people today. It might be that you're one of the people that's been prayed for and you're wondering what this is all about. And you might have questions uh, bubbling up inside you as to why somebody has been praying for you. And what do we mean by uh, Jesus Christ being pouring out his Holy Spirit uh, on you and on the situations which you're facing? Well, we'd love to answer those questions. And so contact details of the ministers in our circuit will be at the end of this video. And we do encourage you to contact us if you have a question uh, that's been raised as a as a result of being prayed for also within our circuit every sunday morning we have a sunday podcast service uh, which is on youtube if you search for sherwood forest methodist circuit you'll be able to see all of the podcast uh, we're going to be having a morning prayer at 10.30, uh, led by myself and others from around the circuit. Uh, and we'd really encourage you to search on Facebook for the Sherwood Forest Methodist Circuit, and we'll be live streaming that prayer uh, onto that Facebook page. So may you be filled with the grace, peace and love of our Lord Jesus Christ this day and every day. Amen.